Hello, uh, it's me again, and I had a question, kind of a quickie here, of a confirmation like this on a master paramorphings. Everything was solved except these two just didn't quite fit in. And the question was, is there a quick and easy way to get out of this? Well, when coming up in a situation like this, understand that even though it's uh, a master paramorphings, it is a three by three, and you have to just kind of train yourself to look at this like a 3x3 three three and put it in a position that um, is similar to this, is homologous to this. Because basically what you have is, let's say that this is our last layer. So find the two here, find a layer that encompasses these two, and just say this is a flipping problem. We haven't gone against any parodies or have false equivocations or anything, we just have a flipping problem. Where these two are flipped correctly and these two are flipped incorrectly. So in other words, we have what would be the equivalent of an L formation. In essence, this is exactly like this scenario over here. And I kind of made it look exactly like that. Notice I put all the corners in. So all the corners are correct, and all the edges are where they need to be. They're lined up correctly. But um, these two, although it's lined up correctly, it's flipped wrong. Now this is perfectly legal. This is perfectly fine parity, but this is equivalent to this. So just to rehash how to get out of this, remember this is an L formation. So you hold this where the ones that are flipped uh, appropriately are to the left and to the back. And then you do um, the algorithm F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. We're just going to pause there because you know that the line comes next. So the way that you would correlate that with this is here's our top here. These are flipped wrong, like we showed. These are flipped correct. So we just have to orient ourselves what's front, what's right, what's left. So if this were, say, front over here, this is going to be up over here. So this is the front side because this front side encompasses one of the sides here that's, um, uh, that's flipped incorrectly. So this is equivalent to this over here is our left side. So this one that's correct is on the left. And uh, this over here is equivalent to our backside. So front, left, and right. So we're going to do that algorithm. And you know that if we do it twice, it's going to, now from the line, it's going to all be up. F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I, and through the magic of algorithms, that's fine. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, get your perspective. This is up, and this is F. And all we have to know is what R is, and this is R over here. It encompasses this side over here. So we do we do F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. And we know that this is going to have a line. So this is actually a line. This is correctly rotated, and this is correctly rotated, rotated, and these are flipped. And you can tell because they're facing the same direction, so this is wrong. And these two are facing the same direction. This is wrong. Um, this is flush where it's supposed to be. This is going to end up probably over here. So, and even if you just take it on faith that that's what's going on. So we do it again. F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. And now we know that everything is correct. It makes sense because only one of these are in and the rest are not. And we know that that's how it's supposed to be. Um, that's not going to be apparent here as this is a super cube, but you can only have one in and the rest out. And you can tell that they're appropriate because they're facing each other. In other words, they're facing the opposite way, as are these. The next is the permutation, which is basically causing everything to rotate around. This is, I guess, what you'd call the uh, PLL, or permutation of the last layer, or uh, one of the algorithms of the permutation of the last layer. So if I were to correlate that with this, this is in these are out. This is exactly the same situation as this. And that algorithm, F, I'm sorry, R, U, R, I, U, R, to U, R, I. And in this case, it, all I had to do was do that once. My prediction, because this was patterned exactly the same way, is I'll just have to do that once. So this is going to be my front over here now. R, U, R, I, U, R, to you or I, and I only had to do it once. This once again proves that this is just a mod. That's all you have to look at this. Now with all of this in, are there any of these corners that are incorrectly? The answer is no. So to here, none of these corners are incorrectly. So we do our, uh, we're still sort of in a PLL stage, permutation of the last layer, and this is another one of those um, 
um, algorithms. And that's going to be U R U I L I U R I U I L. That will put one of them in, and that's going to be this one. Let's see if we can work the same magic here. Again, this is front. So U R U I L I U R I U I L. And it did the same thing. This one is in. Again, the whole key with this is perspective. And now that I have one in, I turn it over here so that that one in is to my right, and I do it again. U R U I L I U R I U I L. And this one will put all of these in in the right position. So let's go ahead and do that here too. So remember, this has to be to the right. So this is my F over here. And this is my right side over here. So turn, turn, turn. Oops, turn. It does take a little practice to understand what's right and what's left. And so too, that puts everything in. Now let's study the difference here because uh, I want to bring this out. Everything is in, and it looks like everything is rotated, right, except one. Well, we know that's impossible, but this is what's actually happening. This is the hidden thing that's happening. Only this one is rotated right. The rest are not. And I contend it's the same thing here. Only this is rotated right. These are not. But these are equivalent here. Um, the rotation is equivalent. Here you can't tell because there's three colors. This is one color. So the last step, which is, I guess, what you'd call the... Um, OLL, the orientation of the last layer, is you do your RI, UI, RI in order to get that back. You know, this is the beginner's method, which is all I've really needed to do to solve these puzzles. Turn, turn. Now, the difference here, the main difference between these two is I had to hit all of the uh, different edges, all the, the three different corners, rather. Here, I don't need to do that because one is like another is like another. So I'm going to do the same thing, roll this in. Then I'm just going to take another one and keep rolling it around until I've solved it. Pow, splat, bang, bang, zoom, splat, crunch, pow, ugh, zing, splat, plop. And this is in. And I just turn this here, and I'm just going to rotate this around, just this around. Um, until everything is back in. Turn, 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 and it's solved. Okay, so that's how you get through this. So when you saw two were facing the other way, it was just that situation where you had an L formation. Hope that clarified things. Thanks for watching.